All right, so we are going to evaluate this logarithm together. But first, I would encourage you to pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so what is this even saying? This is saying that the log base 32 of 8 equals some exponent right here, some number. And if I write it exponentially, it's saying 32 to what power equals 8? <coughs> now you might want to, you might be inclined to say 1 fourth, because if you take 32 and divide it by 4, you get 8. Thinking multiplicatively, uh, using proportional reasoning or division and multiplication is natural, but these are exponents. So we want to think exponentially. So to solve this, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite it using a variable. I don't need to do that, but I think it's helpful. So 32 to some power x equals 8. And here I'm just noticing, wow, um, to solve this, I could take the log base 32 of both sides, but I think that's a little bit um, too much. We don't need to do that here. You can always take the logarithm of any base of both sides and use that to try and break it down. But right here I notice, wow, I got 8. I'm thinking exponentially now. That's 2 to the third. So it's a base of 2 is 32. A power of 2? Because that would be really nice. And it is, right? 2 to the third is 8. 2 to the fourth is 16. This is 2 to the fifth. That is 32. And this is really nice. I'm just using some wishful thinking right there, getting the same base on both sides. And then I'm saying, well, Wow, these two things would be equal. This is really 2 to the 5 times x. That's our law of exponents. You multiply them. Equals 2 to the 3rd. When would these two sides be equal? Well, they would be equal if the exponents were equal. If 5x equaled 3, then you'd have the same thing on both sides. So really, all I have to figure out is, what is the value of x when 5x equals 3? Divide 5 on both sides, and I get 3 divided by 5. And that's my answer. Now, I would quickly test this out because this is not maybe so intuitive, right, to see that this actually works. So I rewrite this. I'm just going to put this little double arrow, which means if and only if. So this is true, if and only if. 32 to the 3 fifths power equals 8. So we can test that. So what is 32 to the 3 fifths? Well, the fifth is like a root. So we're taking the fifth root of 32. And then we're going to cube it. You can separate these rational exponents into two pieces or more, and you will not go wrong. It will get you the right answer. And this over here on the right equals 2 to the third. We compare them exponentially. The fifth root of 32 is a number that multiplied 5 times equals 32, and that's just 2. And we still have the third power there, and you can see that on both sides these are, in fact, equivalent, so it's correct. All right, I hope that helped.